Yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stefan Karpischek. I am here on stage today with Ian Kasten. We work for UBS, a large Swiss bank, and we are in the Crypto 2.0 lab of UBS. That's part of the innovation group, um, group technology innovation. And we are very happy to be here today and talk about smart bonds, an experiment that um, the Crypto 2.0 lab is conducting. So um, the goal of the lab is to explore blockchain technology. We have defined a set of use cases and um, we are going to apply blockchain technology and evaluate um, how we can, we can best um, make use for the bank and for our customers. So uh, most of the work we do is actually learn and listen. So we are talking to a lot of solution providers, to a lot of developers, a lot of software vendors and um, other partners. We are also doing a lot of education. Most of the education is done internally, but we are also talking to, to other financial institutions. We are part of the ASRI consortium, the distributed ledger group. And we also talk to infrastructure providers, central banks, um, governments, um, regulators, um, because we, we all want to understand how can we best apply blockchain technology to finance. So um, we are very committed to um, enabling, developing, and promoting open standards. And so that's why we like Ethereum so much. It's a very nice, very good open standard, a powerful technology that we can use. We like the flexibility that it provides, so we can basically implement arbitrary complex business logic. We can put um, a lot of different types of assets on the blockchain and um, model whole life cycles of financial instruments. And we will see in a, in a minute uh, one of the one of the experiments, the, actually the earliest, the first experiments that we did in the lab with Ethereum. And I, I just uh, want to go quickly into the, the benefits that we see or some of, the, some of the early learnings that we are taking from this. So it's a, it's a very nascent technology. Yeah? So we are still in a, in a very early phase. And I agree completely with Gavin. I guess it was in, in one of the first talks um, that he said, um, we, we need to implement in order to understand the full potential of this technology. And we need to, to play around with it in, in, in order to, to get a feeling for what is possible in the future. And I've, I've just um, uh, shortly followed the presentations before. I mean, obviously, we are still part, um, if you remember this, this layered thing, we are still part of the, of the lower um, uh, of the lower sphere with, the, with all the regulations and all the jurisdictions in place. But we definitely see there is a lot of innovation coming towards us. And we are here to learn and we are here to share with you what we did. So um, the first experiment um, we did in that space is smart bonds. Actually, we could, yeah, so. Smart bonds. Who, who of you knows um, how a bond works? All right. so. Then maybe just, just very quickly, a bond is a, a, a basic form um, of a loan. So you have um, an issuer uh, on, one, on, on one side, on the left side, who issues the bond. That's typically a company or an organization or a government um, that needs to raise funds. They need to finance their operations. They need to uh, finance their business. And on the other hand, uh, on the other side, you have investors. You have a, the buyer of a bond. That's typically institutional investors. And the interesting thing is in between. Yeah? So this here is a very, very much simplified uh, model. In between, you have a whole bunch of intermediaries, of trusted third parties. You have central counterparties. You have uh, central securities depositories. You have custodian banks. Actually, it's layers on layers of intermediation. And we think uh, bonds are a very good um, example to show the benefits and the potential of a technology that is here to disintermediate yeah? and to replace those central trusted parties with something else. And that's software. Actually, we, we can show in our proof of concept 
that we can replace a lot of those intermediaries with a piece of software. Yeah? For them, that's not a very comforting thought, but um, it's actually very, very interesting um, uh, to, to see that in action. And that's what Ian is going to show us. So Ian, please um, show us what we did. Thank, thank you, Stefan. So yes, so Ian Kasdan, I'm, I'm a technologist in the, in the crypto lab, as, as Stefan has, has indicated. Um, I, I'm, I'm the one who got to play. Um, we, we call them experiments, but, but it's, it's, it's fun. So smart bonds. What do they look like? Well, we, we took a very simplistic approach. Um, we've got a fa fairly small set of contracts to, to implement the platform for, for the experiment. Um, contracts, you'd look, if you looked at them, you'd say they're, they're rather monolithic. Um, you know, we, we know there's, there's work to be done in, in that space, but, but fundamentally we have the, the main bond contract, which is the, effectively the arbiter of all the actions. We, we then have a, a, a coin, so we have a token. Um, one of the early things we identified was the need for a, for a token to allow on-chain settlement rather than, rather than going off-chain. So we've, we've called ours bond coin. Um, maybe not too imaginative, but, but, it, but it, it worked for our purposes. Um, we, we needed to, to simulate the concept of, of trusted feeds, so we have a benchmark contract which obviously would be providing rates for, for floating rate bonds. And then we had a, a simple registry, um, which in, in the real world scenario, would, you know, we, we need to extend to, to, to create true you know, KYC, etc. So, you know, fa fairly simple structure, um, as you can see on the screen. So a just a few, few parties involved, but, but the primary actors are obviously the bond issuer and the bond investor. Um, what I'll do now is I'll, I'll, I'll actually walk you through the, the, the demo and, and fingers crossed at this point. So, so on the screen in front of you now is, as you can see, a, a very simple UI we've built to, to, to demonstrate the functionality that, that we have in, in the smart bond platform. Um, what, what we've got on the left hand side is the bond issuer, um, nice, nice and orange and a, and a nice, nice stain name there, issuer. And on, on, on the right hand side we have the, the bond buyer. So um, in this instance we've got ETH um, PLC who will be issuing the bond and Big Fund who will be buying the bond. So obviously as I said the, the actors involved here have gone through a registration so they've got access to the platform. Um, we skip that step. So, so what I'll do now is I'll, I'll put on the hat of the, of the, of the bond issuer and, and now I'm going to create a, a new offer to place in, into the market. Um, I've, I've pre-filled everything out. So in, the, in this instance, we're going we're gonna to choose a fixed rate bond, uh, paying a 2%. Um, we'll have uh, a coupon frequency of six months and the bond will last a year. And, and I know you're all going to worry now that I'm going to make you sit around for a year to see the, the payments occur. But... Software is a wonderful thing, so we've actually managed to speed up time. So this should, should take place in a few minutes. So I'll, I'll submit that offer. Um, so the, the issuer gets a notification that the, the, the transaction has been accepted and it's now being pushed into the, into the network. So this is all running on my laptop at this point. So, so ho hopefully it can keep up. So in, in, a short, in a short while, the, there's, there's a single miner in this instance here. They'll mine the block and both, both parties should see a confirmation of, of the new bond offer. And, and this is obviously the, the point at which I, I, I hold my breath and cross my fingers. Mm -hmm. So we are waiting for the confirmation now. And, and this is where I quickly check and make sure it's still actually. <laughs> oh, look, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Patience. Patience is a virtue. So there we go. So both parties saw the, saw the offer being confirmed on the chain. And there we have a new entry, bond number 40, um, being issued. Well, the offer is from ETH PLC. Um, as, as we said, a 2% coupon and a one, one year maturity. Um, now, as, if I put the hat on of the buyer, I can now go and, and create, register my interest in in that bond. So what I, what I do simply here is I'm, I'm going to invest a million bond coins. So 
So I've, I've, I've registered that interest. Um, wh one of the things we did f for this is, is we, we built in a escrow capability. So the, the, when, when you register your interest, that you actually make the purchase at that point. And there's obviously different models you could, you could take, take to solve this problem. But at this point, we, 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 we capture the funds and hold them in escrow. And they're held in escrow by, by the bond contract. So the issuer at this point will not see any, any of the money. Not until they actually complete the issuance and, and hand me over the bonds. So we'll, we'll just wait for, for that, that to be confirmed. There we go. And if I just go and check my account there, I can see that I've, I've made a payment of a million coins. And it's actually gone to the bond contract. So, so at this point, the issuer's still got, not got the money. But obviously, as the issuer, I can now... Now I've got my interest, obviously in the real world scenario there will be, be many interested parties. So we're, we'll go and issue that bond. Um, we'll issue the full amount. We added the capability in the platform to do a reduce the level if the, if the bond was oversubscribed. And, and then, the, then the issuance would occur on a pro rata basis and you'd get a refund. But, but we'll do the full amount here. So, so I've, I've now, now issued the bond, um, and when that gets confirmed, if I look at, if from the issuer's standpoint, if I look at my account, I should see the million bond coins in my, my account. And obviously, traditionally, once the bond has been issued, what, what, would, what would previously happen is we'd have other parties that would then essentially be recording who owns the bond and who needs to be paid at the appropriate times. Um, so there we go. The issue's been confirmed. So let's check the account of the... Of the of the issuer, and there we go. We've we've had a million coins from the bond contract, but but let's let's check because hang on, am, am I is is the holder and actually officially holding that bond? So let's have a look. So big fun. There, there we go. Uh, a thousand, ten thousand bonds to the value of a million coins. Um, the, the the good thing about um, Ethereum and, and obviously blockchains is is we can see all the events that have occurred, all the transactions that have occurred, so we get a full history. So we can see the offer, the indication of interest, and the, and the actual issuance. Um, as you can see there, so the maturity and coupon dates are just, just be a, a few minutes. So, so hopefully uh, we won't run out of time and we should see some payments occurring. But as I say, the, the, the system now is replacing what would typically be the paying agent. So, that, so the contract itself will, will pay out the funds. And, and you know, we followed the... Uh, pretty much the standard for, for um, token contracts. So you, you have an approved, um, essentially sig what we call a signatory on the account, and the bond contract acts as that signatory. Okay, so that, that was a very quick um, demo. Well, um, maybe, maybe we um, need to uh, make a way for the next ones. So we are around for the whole day. We're uh, happy um, if you want to catch us and and um, ask questions, that's very fine for us. Um, thanks a lot for your attention. Thanks for the invitation. <laughs>